Uh, welcome to another RD Works Learning Lab. <clears throat> um, today you've caught me doing a little bit of housework. Where I've been cutting acrylic on here, the condensate as uh, sticky goo has finished up bonding to the surface a little bit. So I've had to be a little bit more aggressive than acetone. Because I've got a steel base plate on here, I can't really do it any harm. I certainly couldn't do that with a honeycomb bed. Now today we're not going to go back onto these things which are copper mirrors because we've basically worked those out. I've, um, I've cured myself of copper mirrors but there was one unanswered question that a correspondent was keen to get the answer to. Now Robert Vio in California, and I hope I've pronounced his name right, he was very keen to find out whether or not gold was 99% efficient at transmitting infrared radiation. And at the conclusion of my mirror saga, he volunteered to take some of my very nicely lapped mirrors, which incidentally I still have in this machine. And you know, they're working very well. They've been in there for what, two, three months now? And he has offered to 24 karat gold plate some of those mirrors for me so that we can test whether or not gold has the appropriate effect. And here we are. These are the gold mirrors that he's produced for me. Now with a white background reflected on these mirrors, you can see a pure copper mirror. You can see this is the Chinese gold mirror, which looks green. And this is a 24 karat gold mirror that looks exactly as it should do, gold. <laughs> so who knows what this yellow stuff is, but it certainly isn't gold. I want to thank Robert for doing this, and uh, you might like to pop across to his website, because he's a man of many, many talents. Um, he produces flight simulator parts, but also special electronic bits and pieces. Um, I think he also is, well, I, I know he's also uh, a pilot and probably a flight instructor and probably a bungee jump instructor and a ski board instructor. And who knows, he might even tell you how to pick up women. I can't absolutely verify all of that. You need to go and have a chat with him yourself. It will satisfy my curiosity and your own curiosity to find out whether these are actually as good as we think they might be. Real gold should be about 99% efficient. Copper, well, I was hopeful it was going to be 99% efficient, but as we found out last time, 98% is about as good as I'm going to get with copper unless I'm prepared to put some sort of half-wave coating on it, which I'm afraid is beyond my garage technology. Now, I'm not going to drag you through the tedious process of fitting the mirrors and also carrying out all the tests because You've seen me do that before in other videos. Really, we just want to cut to the chase. We want to turn to the last page and find out who did the murder. OK, now here's the procedure that I used. I've been fiddling around for about half an hour, three quarters of an hour now. And first of all, I put the gold mirror. I put two gold mirrors into mirror one and mirror two. And I measured the result after mirror two. Now, the reason I've done that is because by putting two mirrors together I get one set of measurement errors and then I can average the result and I'd, I'd probably get more accurate results than if I tried to measure each mirror independently. So what I did was first of all measure the tube watts to make sure I got some stability and then I measured the output from the gold mirrors. They look pretty consistent. I then went back and checked that the tube output was still consistent and hadn't dropped off in any way at all. And after a third set of gold tests, I then went back and checked that the tube was still outputting roughly 65 watts. Um, after that, I then swapped over and put my polished copper mirrors back in. And now we've got 60.4 watts, virtually no different from the gold mirrors. And then finally, I popped back to make sure that my tube watts were still consistent. So all the way through, I'm making sure that I'm referencing back to the tube to make sure that these results have got some validity. What's the end result? Well, the loss across two mirrors on all of these results is 7.2, 6.9, 6.8. Say 7% across two mirrors, which is 3.5% a mirror. 
and the same applies to my copper mirror which has been in there a couple of months and I haven't bothered to polish it or anything like that. So when we look at the single mirror efficiency we find ourselves with three sets of results here for the gold mirror at about 96.5% and we find a copper mirror here again at 96.5%. Well, disappointing, yes. Um, staggeringly disappointed, well, I was hoping for a bit better. So I think what this has done has really put the mirror saga to bed completely. Disappointing about the gold, but of course these are not laboratory conditions. This is real world conditions. And if gold and copper are as good as each other, then I'm going to stick with my copper mirrors. I should probably use these gold mirrors or copper mirrors because I've got them now. But at the end of the day for you guys, to be honest, the most cost, the most cost effective solution for you and the most durable solution will be these molybdenum mirrors. Well, thanks for your time, and I shall see you in the next session.